living, 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 just enough, living, just for the city. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to New Jack City. Today, we're going to be talking about DDG and Taylor Lautner, and uh, also one more other dude, um, the Nate dude that uh, DDG is supposed to be fighting. Um, a lot of things went on during that press conference. Um, the reason why I'm making this video, though, uh, Taylor Holder, sorry, not Lautner. <laughs> Lautner is the, the actor, I'm sorry, Holder. Sorry about that, but um, the reason why I'm talking about this is because DG made a uh, comment, and uh, I'll actually watch the whole video on this one, and um, he was basically talking about how Taylor Hart, uh, Holder, when they were at the press conference, they were, um, you know, they were going back and forth and stuff like that. Let me give y'all the rundown. Basically, DDG and Dub, they were in the elevator and they was going up to the press conference. While they was going up to the press conference, Taylor Holder and like I want to say his other and his crew was like pretty much like going back and forth with them talking, you know, bad talking to them and stuff like that. Dub was talking back, DG was talking back. Dub looked like he was about to bust a move, but I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. When y'all watch the conference, this is how I try. I'm always trying to tell y'all everything is for entertainment. If hitters really wanted to go fight, they would have fought. They was not trying to. They wasn't doing nothing. That was all for entertainment for y'all. I need y'all to see through that. Having that being said, um, Dub picked up his pants and stuff like. Remember, I told y'all the keys to know when somebody's about to fight is when you pick up the pants that's what dub did right but you saw he wasn't really trying to like he wasn't trying to press that issue like if he really wanted to do something and honestly i'm gonna be honest with you um uh, if dub was to go to taylor holder and was to like fight yeah dub is definitely winning but i feel like they just didn't want to fight because um one of the reasons is because it's just entertainment they don't really feel no type of way about that and secondly because I feel like Dub was just trying to intimidate him, and you know he wanted to get some kudo points with that. So you know it is what it is. But um, that's what happened. After that, Taylor Holder was like walking through through the press conference through the to the press conference because DDG and Dub looked like they went like down they went down the elevator or went up or something like that. I don't know, but they were in the elevator and then the elevator closed. So I don't know what happened with that. But Taylor Holder was walking towards the press conference and he said something very interesting he said black ass motherfucker um and ddg said taylor holder is a racist this is what now i told y'all i don't really get into you know the sorry about that i told y'all i don't really get into the uh into the deep conversations like that on this channel because I don't want it to get flagged. I don't want people thinking this is like a, you know, YouTube recognizing this as like a uh, political channel or anything like that because that's where it's far removed from that. But I do want to touch on this real quick because it is YouTube news. DDG is very misinformed when it comes to uh, people being racist. I'm going to give y'all the, I'm going to give you the Google definition of uh what a racist is and i'm going to give you the true definition of what racism is okay and then you guys fit what it is hold on mm. okay true definition all right so well, google definition racism prejudice discrimination or anti or antagonist antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one's own race is superior that's a google definition the true definition of what racism is it's a person who has privilege and or power due to due to the color of their skin now having that being said the google definition generalized everyone can be i mean yeah anyone can be a racist but the true definition pretty much says due to the power of your skin and or race can you be a racist so black people can't be racist because we don't own anything racism is a uh is a power of um it's pretty much what you can what you control 
If you control something and you can have someone not go into that system, that is racism due to the color of their skin. That's power. Racism is a power. It's a power structure. Black people can't be racist. So when um, DDG said Taylor uh, Taylor Lautner is a uh, racist because of uh, because of the words he said, no, I would say he's prejudiced. But is he a racist? I'm not going to say anything. Again, I'm going to be very quiet. You use as the definition I just gave y'all and just telling telling y'all what's the power structure of racism. You guys can choose for your own and say if he's a racist or not. Me personally, I think you guys already lean, know what I'm going to say about Taylor uh, Taylor uh, Holder, if he's a racist or not. But I'm not going to say anything because, again, I'm not trying to get flagged. I just want to give uh, DDG, if DDG ever looks at this video, I want him to know the true definition of what racism is. Because him saying those words... It does not does not make him a racist. It makes him prejudiced. But anyone can be prejudiced. But racism, that's a different story. But having that being said, I think y'all know where I'm going to lead to with Taylor Holder. Let's just say I don't disagree with uh with DDG. I just disagree on him saying that he's racist because of this statement. It's not because of that statement. But um, you know. When we talk about racism and we talk about words and stuff like that, people always try to look at it in, um, as an emotional state, and it's not an emotional state. Black people have a bad habit of doing that, and we need to stop looking at racism as an emotional state and see it as for what it is, which is a power structure. Once we define what the power structure is, then we can tackle the problem head on. But, you know, I just I guess a lot of people are just very misinformed and they don't want to be educated on this topic because it's a very touchy topic. And on top of that, definitely knowing DDG as big as he is, he can't really play with those words like that because he's getting paid from the power structure. So if you're getting paid from the power structure and you go against you get you go against the uh, the um, the power quo, you go against the power structure, then, you know, you're liable to get dropped and to actually get blackballed. So if I was him, I would stay away from that and just focus on the fight. But, uh, you know, people like myself who have a very small channel and on top of that, someone that's a real N-I-G-G-A who don't give not two fucks, even if he blows up or if he stays the same, I'm gonna talk about it all the time. Listen, don't let me blow up. I'm telling y'all this right now. Well, I mean, I'm not telling the subscribers, my subscribers, I want to blow up, but I'm talking about the power structure because I'm going against the grain. Like I'm not, I'm not about to tap dance and none of that shit for real. Like you getting the real, you getting the real, you getting the real all the time. And I'm coming at niggas next at all cost because I believe, for, I believe for what I stand for. And on top of that, um, it's too many, it's too many tap dance, tap dancing niggas in the industry. And, you know, there's not one person I can definitely look to to be like, you know what? He's in the industry and he's like, and he actually, no, no, there's actually, there is like one or two people. It was like Dr. Umar and stuff like that. But when it comes to other people that's in the industry, they don't do that. They tap dance around the actual meaning of what racism is and what, and um, they don't go against the status quo because they, because they're always trying to get a check from the, from the power structure. Me. It's not going to be like that with me. I'm just letting y'all know. Fair warning. But anyway, how do y'all feel about that? Um, do y'all agree with my definition, the true definition of uh, what racism is? Um, let's have a, let's have a conversation about it. Leave in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. All right. I'll see y'all next time. All right. Living, living just enough.